Hello everybody, Dan here with TrendSpider, and in this video I'm going to show you one of the newest and most interesting features that we've just added to TrendSpider just now. This feature is an extension to our already extremely popular Anchored View app, which is an indicator developed by Brian Shannon with Alpha Trends that we've incorporated into the platform. Now, for those of you that know, Anchored View app works by right-clicking on a particular candle to anchor a volume weighted average price line from that particular point in time. And you can see here that I've anchored one at the low here, it looks like in the middle of March on NTLA here. This is great. And if you're flipping through your charts and you see an interesting or important price level or reversal point, manually anchoring a view up there is a great way to predict future price levels where price may bounce down the road. And you can see even here, when I've anchored at the bottom here, right, price tried to uh, test this area here, pulled into it and bounced off it and then bounced off it twice again uh, later in May. So anchored view apps are powerful and uh, anybody who's played with them will tell you that that is true. But the actual art of anchoring them is challenging for many because where exactly do you anchor from? You could do what I typically do and anchor at major high, low highs and major lows, right? But there's a variety of other ways to do it as well. So I'm going to show you a new way to anchor view apps that we've just added to the platform that makes this all the more powerful and all the more easier for you as a trader to use. So here's what I'm going to do. First, I'm going to click on the three dots in the top menu next to the indicators. This is going to open my indicator manager dialog. And then I'm going to find anchored view app on the left here in the list. I can just find it by typing the first few letters of anchored in the box and it'll find it for me. Now I'm going to add, let's call it four of these to my chart. And right now you may be wondering, Dan, why are you adding four anchored view apps? And by the way, Dan, where are you anchoring them from? Well, I'm about to show you. Each one of these anchored view apps is going to be automatically anchored by TrendSpider for you based on rules that you define. And we can add more than just four. Here I've added a few more. So let's set that up and show you what that looks like. The first one, I'm going to select the highest volume point in a volume window of 20 uh, candles. So let's see, let's anchor a view app at the highest volume, uh, the candle with the highest volume in the last 20. Next, I'm going to anchor it to the highest high in the last 100. I'm going to then auto anchor the next view app to the lowest low in the last 150 candles. I can anchor to all kinds of stuff this way. For example, I'll put one at the quarter to date line and I'll put one at a year to date. Oh, and I have one more. So I'll make this last one. I'll anchor it to the most recent gap. And we're going to define a gap as call it two times the ATR. So let's see what that looks like. Boom. And now what you can see is happening here is every chart that I pull up is going to have a number of view apps automatically anchored to it. The system's doing this for me and I'm not having to do anything to tell it where to anchor it or how to anchor it. It's automatically finding the correct levels and sticking an anchored view app at them. Now, um, Obviously, there's a lot more ways you can automatically anchor. You can anchor to the most recent blue raindrop. That's a very interesting combination because blue raindrops are another volume weighted average price based indicator. You can anchor to uh, month to date, week to date, day to date, quarter to date, and year to date, right? And you can anchor to the highest high and the highest low and the highest volume level among a range that you can define and you can even have multiple such view apps on your chart for example you may choose to have the highest high among 300 candles i'm sorry you can't go up 300 among 250 candles right and i think we have a highest high among uh 100 candles as well and you can see how that works on your chart and as i flip through my charts each chart is going to have all of these automatic anchored view apps on them for me and that's going to save me a lot of time it's going to prevent me from making mistakes and missing things that are important to my trading strategy because anchored view app, truth be told, is a very important part of my personal trading strategy. And once you play with it, I would be shocked if it doesn't become an important part of yours as well. The last thing I'm going to show you about this is one other enhancement to the automated anchored view apps and the regular anchored view apps, and that is the ability to put bands around them. So we're going to leave one here. We're going to anchor to the highest high among 250. Um, and we're going to put some standard deviation bands, right? Now, here's what's really neat. Uh, when you look at this, you'll see that it's actually putting uh, fib levels in here. 
and you can change these, right? So you can say, okay, I want a 0618, a 1236, right? Whatever levels you might want. And you will see that TrendSpider is actually going to plot volatility-based FIB bands off your anchored volume weighted average price. And there are multiple types of bands that you can use. These are percentage bands. These are set a fixed percent away. They are parallel. Um, the ones I showed you a minute ago were volatility bands or standard deviation bands. And also we have something very special here called a volume by price ribbon. VBP ribbons are uh, the brainchild of Brian Shannon. If you remember, Brian Shannon also came up with Anchored View App. And they are an unbelievably cool indicator because they combine volume profile with anchored volume weighted average price. Here's what this tells you. You can see that this line that is anchored here has a variable thickness to it. In some places, it is thicker than in other places. This is because at the levels of price where the line is thicker, there was more volume. So it gives you a lot of information in a single line. The thickness of the line will tell you all about how much volume was traded at that price from that anchor point. So though that's a that's a very high level overview of uh, our enhancements to the Alpha Trends Anchored View App feature in TrendSpider. Be sure to play with the automated anchoring. You can create a lot of view apps. You can automatically anchor them in a variety of ways. <coughs> Excuse me. And be sure to check out the various types of ribbons and bands that are now available for these lines because you can do some very interesting stuff with them, including FIB base levels, which uh, we have found to be very powerful. I hope you found this video interesting. I hope you like this new feature, and I hope you love TrendSpider. If you haven't given us a shot already, you should do so. Uh, as I'm making this video right now, we have just launched a little bit early our 4th of July sale, so you can get 35% off any of our plans for a whole year if you start your free trial before July 6th of this year. Um, in any case, even if you choose not to do that, I hope you find our product and this automated anchoring capability to be interesting, and I hope it inspires you to be a better trader, and I hope you all have a great weekend. Thank you very much, and take care. Bye-bye.